All right, what's going on YouTube? What's going on everyone? We're back um, on the channel. Again, I always take my hiatuses and um, but it's this thing going on, you know. I want to make content. I'm here again to make content and it's going to be today. It's going to be the video coming back will be uh, the complete Ninjago minifigure collection from 2011 to 2021. Who would have thought we'd be here 10 years later, uh, still going with Ninjago, I didn't think it at all, I thought Ninjago was over like 5 years ago, and it just kept going, and it's going to keep going, and it's going to keep going, they're going to drag this thing out, and um, mixed feelings about that, uh, it's a constant cost every 6 months, um, buying every set like I do and have done for at least the past 6 years, the first 4 years I didn't have a job, but I went back up all those sets, I have them all now, um, it's just a constant cost, so... Uh, without further ado, let's go have a look at the Ninjago minifigs from our first 10 years, and um, looking forward to the next 10 years. See you there. Beginning with 2011, obviously, uh, the first year, the first time, I'll begin with saying the way that's going to be done, they're all going to be images, uh, four images per year, per um, uh, case, display case I have, which are actually from Enco, um, a Kmart brand, the Kmart's main brand. Um, Enco in Australia, um, the twelve dollars a piece. Uh, the only thing is they'll damage the minifigs' feet over time, or when you place them down, they might crack at the back. It doesn't bother me; they're going to be staying in my hand, so I, I really couldn't care uh, about that. Um, just as long as I can see the minifigs and they're dust-free, that's what I care about, and this is a really cheap way to do it. I have about sixty of these now um, in my collection. They're all full uh, at the moment, and I'll eventually get more uh, as. I've now run out of room, I'm going to have to buy more uh, as new sets come out that I'm getting, the next, obviously the next Ninjago wave. Um, so what you're seeing is the minifigs I'll discuss, my, maybe my favourite moments from the, the past 10 years, uh, obviously 2011. My first set was actually December 24th, 2010. Uh, it's coal, uh, the coal spinner. A lot of people know this, I've discussed this over the years. Uh, 2112 set number. Um, just a great memory. Uh, they came out early at Target. Uh, it's um, Glendale in Newcastle here in Australia. And we were there uh, Christmas Eve doing Christmas shopping and there they were. Just great to see. And it got me into it. I wasn't into it straight away after that. I was maybe into it when we first saw the first mini-series episode. Um, the the Golden Weapons season, or not, not, we don't call it a season apparently anymore, um, I was first into it then, and that was a great memory to have, uh, and it's continued obviously through those years, I've, I've, I just buy every set, the last few years honestly I haven't really kept up with the TV show, because it's come off DVD, and they don't make it on DVD anymore, and I used to buy the DVD every time it would come out and watch it on the DVD, but unfortunately that uh, pastime's gone because I think the DVDs are in the past for LEGO, I don't think they're really going to do them anymore, which is unfortunate and it's sad because I loved having that collection, and I have all the DVDs that have ever come out, obviously with Ninjago, I collect everything, I collect everything, and I love, I love Ninjago, I love it overall, I just um, have struggled to keep up the last few years without seeing the new episodes, and every time the sets come out they look great, I just don't know what they're about, and I will get back into it, I'll tell you guys that, I'll get back into it, just maybe to make some content on the episodes, because uh, there's a lot, a lot of other great content creators out there that do that, and I think it's a really cool concept to, to do. Um, my favourite minifigures overall I might discuss uh, would be, uh, it's the early years, as I say, I love the early years, and you know what? Obviously, the later years have been better quality minifigs. As the years have gone on, they're highly more, high, more highly detailed, better leg printing, bigger, better arm printing, torso printing, face printing, double-sided faces, all that kind of stuff. They've been around for a few years now um, in Ninjago. But the first few years, I love the simplicity of the minifigs. I loved what they were. Um, a classic is definitely Nia. Nia's first variant is a fantastic minifigure. The great Chinese outfit. And um, it's a really, really great minifig in the collection um and obviously the nrg ninjas from 2012 are just they're some people most of people's favorites uh the nrg ninjas are just fantastic fantastic figures 
and you can't go wrong with them, really. You've, you've got to get them. They've gone up a bit in price. They're not ridiculous out of price. They're worth what they are because they are fantastic minifigs, especially coming from spinner sets. They were only in spinner sets. That's, Lego was very generous to us in those early two years to give us main characters in spinners that were, you know, 10 bucks US, $16 here in Australia, but we could get them $11 at Kmart and Big W, um, so it was pretty much the US price point. And we were fortunate enough to have that. In the last few years, everything is big sets. The cheapest set will only have, like, um, one, you know, villain versus one a ninja. And it's usually a basic ninja suit. Compared to what you'll get in, like, the three to $200 set, Australian dollars set. Um, which is a shame. And the first couple of years was very uh, good like that. It gave us the spinners. It gave the, Even the small sets, Ninja Ambush, Ninja Training Outpost, Venom Monterey Shrine had great figures um, in them, and, and you would get the full suit of the ninja, where you wouldn't have to go and buy the $200 set to get the entire suit uh, of the ninjas. Um, as you see there, just there, the Prime Empire, that Minecraft Kai, that's really cool, I don't know why they did that, no idea, I had to get that set, that was $110 Australian, just to get the one minifig really, but I also collect Minecraft minifigs as well, I have a lot of them now, I've got about probably 100 of them at least now, I'd say. From buying sets because I love Minecraft and I've always built in that in that um, game. Um, other many figs. I mean, oh, you've got Golden Ninja. There's just so there's so many over the years. It's really hard to pick favourites. But you know, over the last years, they've gotten great. I'm really glad they've gone back and they've given us the other um, tournament of elements, um, the Elemental Masters. I love how they've given us the rest of them. Um, we're still missing, I think. Uh, uh, the purple hair, oh God, I've, I've forgotten her name, but you'll know the um, shapeshifter, you'll know who we're talking about. We, I think we're still missing her um, overall, I think that's it. I'm glad we've gone back and gotten them. This Seabound wave, beautiful minifigs, I love, obviously, the RNG now, great minifigs, and then obviously we've got the golden minifigs from the 10th anniversary, um, as you guys see there. So. You guys will also see here. I've included some of the, the other that I couldn't fit or didn't. I didn't want to take this out of this box for some reason. There's also a miniature pixel uh, micro figure that is included in that minifig factory, and then the two big figs. I also included those um, just because they're always a part of my minifig collection. I count them as part of that. Um, and uh, let me know if you guys have those as well. I'll see you guys in the outro. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was every year. Every minifigure, I included the special minifigures at the end that I haven't put in those cases, so there's no questions, because I have every minifigure, it's there, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, they are fantastic minifigs to own, I own every set, but unfortunately I don't have any room to display every set and show every set, so that video won't be coming out for a very long time, um, unfortunately, uh, those sets are stored away, um, untouchable at the moment so uh that won't be for quite a while and but it is what it is and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing every lego new jugger minifigure how many minifigures do you guys own do you have every minifigure as well I, I really haven't really seen any other collections out there of every minifigure and i've been interested to see that um let me know how you enjoyed the video and drop a like and subscribe and i hope to see you guys soon um have a good rest of your day night afternoon wherever you live in the world signing out there they are. Makes me very nervous seeing them like that. But uh, that's it. See you guys.